we were able to get our apartment cleaned out successfully. The back of our vehicles weren't quite large enough for us to take everything down to St. George at once, where we we're going to be staying for a week before heading to Vegas. So we had to make a few trips to St. George. So we loaded up the back of our vehicles and drove the four hour trek to and from St. George about three times to get our apartment completely emptied. apartment on Thursday, came down to St. George on Friday officially. What are you thinking now? How are you feeling now that we've made one more big transition towards the ultimate goal of moving on to the sailboat? I'm excited. Yeah? Okay. What about <laughs> you, Conley? I'm excited too. However, there's a storm coming and I'm not excited about that. That's true. Currently, Hurricane Irma does look like it's headed towards Puerto Rico. I am feeling good about being out of the apartment, having that done. I was pretty stressed about getting everything out on time and getting it cleaned. But I feel good about it now that it's done. It feels like one more thing we've accomplished and checked off our list. We're one step closer to the boat. I was feeling good up until today, and the Hurricane Irma stuff obviously is a major concern now, but yeah, I think it feels good to be one step closer to kind of wrap up that that part of the, the transition. So we sold our house, lived in an apartment for six months. To be able to wrap that up feels like you're bringing some closure to that part. So that part feels good, it's exciting. right by Puerto Rico and he's gonna skirt the, the edge of where our boat is so I'm I'm concerned about it but I don't think that it's gonna cause damage and I don't know I mean until it happens I don't know but I don't I'm, I'm not stressing about it like Mark is right I think it's gonna cause a lot of damage I think it's gonna slow everything down obviously the safety of our family matters more than just a boat I mean for us now to act like a possession matters more than our family would be the opposite of what the purpose or intent of all this is so I'm glad we will be safe I'm glad that we can are here if the hurricane does come before we get there but at the same time yeah it's concerning because we're not there and I don't know you know what's gonna happen or I don't know the impact of it so that's definitely a concern I think the other part is just that that now it feels more real so it's I, my job is over, and 
Angela's job is over and the house is sold. And so now it's we're definitely deeper into this whole process and it's it just gets a little bit more scary. I mean this now we're into that more unknown of what, what happened right. next. Right. No, I think that's fair. Yeah. Well, you think it's fair. I think it's fair. <laughs> I'll allow it. We made many deliveries to the local thrift store, so much that they got to know us by name. Thankfully, Mason had her driver's license, so she and Conley were able to help us out there and make those trips. <laughs> Our final delivery was to the local food bank. Okay, it's 11, 27 and a half. And what time is it? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Whoa! That's so cool, it's like a moon. Look at the yellow the moon and it's done. It looks like it's just a moon because it's just like a yellow moon. I think I'm just excited to get to the, the boat, get, get there, be able to work on it, get it set up. So it would be exciting to really start putting effort into the boat, into learning, getting ready to sail. For me, that would be, I'm excited about finally doing that. I'm excited to start cleaning it and decorating and polishing and things, but. Sunday is when we try to post a new episode so stay tuned to continue to follow our voyage and adventure and thank you again for watching and supporting us. Bye! Bye! Don't film me this is weird and 
awkward. I'm never doing this again. Probably am. I don't know if we're allowed to go back up, Tommy. Okay, so let's just do it. It's done. Okay. <laughs> don't watch us.